Hey, Furukon Rhythm Gaming here, and I will teach you how to set up DTX Mini NX version 1.3.0. This is the latest version available as of December 28, 2021. DTX Mania is still being updated, and if a new version comes out, we will just update the files. So make sure to check the description of this video. By the end of this video, your PC and eDrum kit will be ready to use for DTX Mania. Same files with movies will be playing, and you will learn how to change skins as well. Let's proceed with the things you need. Your recent PC or laptop will be more than suitable to run DTX Mania. For the operating system, at least Windows 10 will be required. Next, any electronic drum kit with MIDI support. As of this time, most eDrum kits will work with DTX Mania. Check your drum module and see what kind of USB port it has. Usually, eDrum kits are using a USB Type-B port, so you will have to buy a USB Type-B cable. Now, for the files. You need the DTX Mania NX Furukon Starter Pack. You can choose between the basic FSP which contains the high voltage skin or the FSP All Skins which contains all Gitador skins available. You also need the Direct Show SDK and the latest version of K-Lite Codec Basic Pack. The Google Drive link is in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. For this demonstration, I will install DTX Mania on a fresh copy of Windows 10. Download DTX Mini NX FSP, Direct Show SDK, and the latest version of K-Lite Codec Basic Pack. Just select any server from this list. I will be using the basic FSP in this video. Extract all files. Now, go to the Direct Show SDK folder, then install Win SDK Setup. After installation, press close. If you see this type of error, then don't panic. This means that your PC has all the contents provided in the Direct Show SDK and that you can proceed to the next step. Next, install the K-Lite Codec Basic Pack. Now, we go to the DTX Mini NX FSP folder, then we open the config.ini file. In this text file, you will see card name with Furukon. Just change it to any name that you want with a maximum of 13 characters. Just below it is the group name and you can also change it to any name that you want with a maximum of 22 characters. Save the file and then close. Now, open your eDrum kit then run DTX Menu NX. If you see this notification, just click on more info then press run anyway. If you get this error, just install DirectX. Just go to the DirectX Resist folder and run DX Setup. I will now map my eDrum kit to DTX Mania. Please refer to this video on how to map your eDrum kit to DTX Mania. If you have multi-zone pads such as my hi-hat here, you should map all zones as well. So in my case, I needed to assign the two zones to the same drum key. Now, let's test the e-drum kit. Go to start, go to the Furukon test folder, choose the e-drum test, then press enter. Within the first few seconds, you should see a movie playing in the background. If you run DTX Mania without installing Direct Show SDK or the K-Lite Codec Basic Pack, then the movie will not show up. Now, I will test the pads one by one, starting with the Hi-Hat, Snare, High Tom, Low Tom, Floor Tom, Ride Cymbal, left cymbal, bass kick, and left pedal. The starter pack also includes a song and you can test your e-drum kit with it.
If you downloaded the full FSP, you can choose from a variety of skins which changes the overall look of the game. To change the current skin, just go to Config, System, go up here to Skin General, then press Enter to cycle through the available skins. Once you are happy with the skin, just press the Escape key twice and you will immediately see the new skin applied. And that's it! Please check out more tutorials in the description of this video or you can check out my entire DTX Mania tutorial playlist here. Thanks for watching!